Welcome to video number eight. Uh, at the end of seven, I had some problems because I had named several cells the same. Our problem involved crew rate. Um, I resolved it off camera, but I'm what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go back and we're going to eliminate the name on these two uh, cells. So let's go to name manager. Uh, we're looking for crew hour on the bill worksheet. It's right there. I'm going to delete that. Okay. And now I need the uh, one hour. Or the cover one man is what that one is called. I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to close. So now this, neither one of these cell, well that one still has a says one man rate so let's go to uh, name manager again one man rate see there's one on uh, the cover sheet and there's one on the estimate worksheet and um, I wasn't careful in naming cells and that can get you in trouble we're going to delete that okay close now when we go to this, we can see that there's no name. Now I'm going to go to Estimate Worksheet. They're going to be screwed up. So I'm going to have to go um, equals, back to my cover sheet for crew rate, enter. Back to my one man. i got to find equals. Equals, cover sheet, and one man hours. Well, that didn't like what I did. Okay. Now Harmony's restored. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to make a couple quick changes here. I'm going to put a header color at the top. In home. Just because I like it. I'm going to move these task hours up. I'm going to put a, a large, or I'm going to put a, a bold border, or a thick box border around these two cells. Okay, now I'm going to go to my bill worksheet. Uh, these are still not, they're just independent. You can see that there's, it's just calling the cell A4. So I'm going to tie these to my uh, cover sheet. I'm going to press equals go back to my cover sheet and that is uh, the labor rate or my labor markup enter my sales tax equals back to my cover sheet sales tax is right here enter go to my materials markup equals cover sheet uh, materials markup there Enter. Now, I'm, that's all I'm going to do for naming cells. In my opinion, uh, these cells that have color should be named. And in the bill worksheet, these cells that have color should be named. And I'm going to show you why here. This is my estimate worksheet. Um, when I get all my, I have the estimate worksheet set up for five invoices. If I want to look at this and know that I'm getting the right numbers, if I click on that, see it's it going, it's referring to a name cell, which is invoice number one, labor. Invoice number one, materials. Invoice number five, labor. So it's as as opposed to uh, if I look at a cell and it'll say something like this, or it'll refer to uh, invoice number one, cell B5, or something like that, I have really no idea what, what it's referencing to. That's why you need to uh, master naming cells, and I can't say that I'm real good at that yet. I'm going to close out of this. We're going to go back to and work up an estimate. Um, I lost my color here. 
I just like to do some things for aesthetic purposes, and that's one of them. Okay, uh, those hours. I want that to be slightly larger font. Okay, I'm going to delete these. Delete that. I'm also going to put uh, a large outside border and color here, and I'm going to increase the font. I always leave estimating and billing alone. Um, that's a preset. Uh, if I'm doing a job, it takes one. It always takes you one hour to go look at a job. Um, if it's a long estimate, I'll change this number to four, five, ten hours, whatever. But um, I leave them as a preset, and that way I remember to bill for, or I remember to get paid a little bit for my estimate, and I remember to get paid a little bit for my uh, billing. Now we're going to quickly try to build an estimate. I'm going to get my uh, master, uh, I'm going to open up my master list, uh, master materials list. Um, I clicked, double clicked on it, it didn't show up yet. Um, for some reason, when you click on it, there we have two of them now. So I've got two sheets. Um, I'm going to I have to do something with the screen master. We're going to go to view and we're going to I've got two worksheets open. You can see that down here. I'm going to arrange all and I'm going to do a vertical orientation. So what I've got is my materials list here, or my materials list here, and my worksheet over here. I'm going to just go over here, and we're going to be building an addition. So I'm going to uh, do the, the uh, wall system, the floor system, and frame the walls. I'm going to stay below my billing on line 14. Now first I got to copy that. Darn it! Copy. Now I can paste. Okay, so I, I can show, like I have, uh, I can build a drop down box, but it's kind of tedious. It's easier for me to just have a materials list over here on the left and go grab a, line, a section of things and uh, punch them into my estimate. I also took the liberty of putting some text in here that's out of a labor sheet. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to put it in my estimate worksheet. Paste. As you can see, I thought it was a good idea to put a border around my materials, but that puts a border where I really don't want it here. No border. Okay, so we go to our floor system. It's going to take us. 20 anchors, two rolls of sill seal, um, 64 feet of treated. Uh, we're not going to use um, two by tens. We are going to use. Uh, we're going to have a center beam, a two by ten center beam, and that's going to have some four by sixes to support it. And we'll use eye joists. So for our center beam, let's say that's 32 feet, lineal feet of two by ten. Uh, we're going to use it's an addition over a crawl space, so just an eight footer of that will do. Well, let's say we have 200 lineal feet of eye joists. I don't have a price for bridging. Oh, it's going to take about 60 feet of uh, rim board. Um, and I've got choices of plywood or uh, TNG. Well, let's just say it's going to take 20 pieces. And it's going to take uh, 10 tubes of glue. Then I can come over here and I can figure out my hours. I'm working off a crew rate. Everything here is crew rate. It's going to take the crew uh, two hours to attach the sill. It's going to take us two hours to do the beam. It's going to take us uh, half a day to install the joists. Another, uh, well we're going to install, we're going to skip bridging, insulate the band joists, two hours. Uh, delay the subfloor. Uh, it's going to take us uh, four hours. That's how I build the, uh, and then here's the wall framing, and here's the labor side. That's how I would build that.
Now I'm going to put this away for a few minutes. Um, I'm going to have to use screencast and get out of that. I'm going to take it to a job I've already done. This is John Doe. Um, started out with my cover setting. And this is a window replacement. This is my estimate worksheet. Uh, this was a window um, with one picture window and four tilt wash windows. And I uh, installed a Gherkin storm door. Um, here's my prices, my quantities. I try to keep uh, I try to keep this pretty where the materials are. I try to have uh, labor corresponding over here. I'm not exact on this one. On this job, what I did was I figured the number of hours. It was going to take us uh, two hours to unpack, four hours because we stained and varnished the windows in the shop, four hours to mask windows, and uh, then I worked through installation and trimming and installing the storm door. I also made a copy of this sheet, and everything is. I had a job that was similar. I figured out it took us uh, 11. Yeah, it took us uh, almost 11 hours per sash, you know, or 166 hours. So I, I figured it a different way to see how this job, or how figuring it this way compared to figuring it by just by the what I guessed an hour was going to, or what a, a, a task was going to take us. This is the estimate letter that I put together. Um, I gave them an estimate to replace the living room window with Anderson picture windows. Interior to be factory finished white. Exterior to be wrapped in aluminum. Um, this, as you can see, is a, uh, uh, it wasn't tilt wash windows, it is wood right. Uh, this is a link to Woodwright double hung windows. I inserted a, a, inserted a, a hyperlink in the estimate. And here's a, a link to the Gherkin doors. I highlighted this in yellow to say there's an undetermined amount of damage to the sheeting below the windows and that repairs to this is not included in the estimate. Uh, when I did the job, <laughs> Here's how I track my hours, and uh, each day I tried to write something about what happened. Here's a comment. We installed the northwest window. I put two by on the outside of the northeast window. We prepped for the living room window by taking siding off and moving furniture. Here is my, uh, I took uh, materials out of the shop, uh, stain pads, varnish, tar paper and miscellaneous, uh, flex wrap, straight wrap. I purchased materials and the red is where I returned materials. I'm going to keep moving along here and then this is my invoice. Now with the invoice, I'm going to have to get my screencast out of the way here. Say I'm going to take this invoice and I'm going to email it. So I come up here and I save as, come down to a PDF and it's the um, John Doe window job and it's going to go into my YouTube videos Dropbox publish. I'm going to have to get screencast out of the way. Come back to my, uh, here's my John Doe. Hit that. Hit email. Pretty soon that'll show up and then I can uh, pull up this and go through my contacts and email out the estimate. I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to go back to, here's my Dropbox. I'm going to take that job. That's an, I should have written invoice on that. I'm going to take that invoice and I'm going to drop it down to uh, invoice PDF. I always make a PDF of all estimates and all invoices because your temptation is to come back later and work on the job in the estimate worksheet or the bill worksheet and then you'll screw up the estimate and then you won't or the or the invoice and then you won't remember what you actually sent to the customer. This way no matter if I come back in here and change some numbers I've always got um, in the estimates or the invoices I've got it figured out. I've got it what I sent to them. Then I take this job and I put it in completed jobs 
and we're out of time. Oh, that file's open. File anyway.